हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्न टू बिकम एन एनिमेटर इन दिस वीडियो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन यूज द टाइम रैप इनटू द माया व्हेन यू क्रिएट सम एनिमेशन लाइक दिस इफ यू वांट टू चेंज द टाइमिंग ऑफ द एनिमेशन इफ यू वांट टू कन्वर्ट द सर्टेन पार्ट ऑफ द एनिमेशन इनटू द स्लो मोशन दैट कैन बी डन very easily by using the time wrap into the maya you can see here i'll play the normal animation yeah and i have created the middle part of the animation into the slow motion now you can see so this tip today i am going to show you into the maya this is very easy and very nicely you can do let's begin just go to the maya open the scene whatever you have animated okay i am going to open the same animation you can see here i have created the whole animation into the maya by using the keyframes techniques is all controls and all you can select so you can see the animation i have taken the reference from the internet to create this animation and uh, i have done the animation if anybody wants me to create a tutorial to create this kind of animation just let me know into the comment box so now this animation is completely normal speed okay now if you want to convert any part of the animation into the slow motion or the high speed we have a here option called time wrap you can go to the key and scene time wrap add scene time wrap so when you add the scene time wrap you can see here in the timeline the whole two keys has been created and it's going to affect the whole scene so when you open the graph editor you can see here one graph for the time wrap so basically what does it mean the time right now the time is for the full animation 1 to 100 okay now how it works so let me tell you the basic idea how you how you can create the slow motion for this one so for example frame number 30 to frame number 40 this frame i want to do the slow motion animation that means i have to increase the frame between this but when you increase the frame between this the end part of the animation is going to be little faster let's see and that can be handled very easily so you can just create uh, select the graph right click insert key okay and let's going to create 42 50 this this two key frame so this part of the animation i am going to create into the slow motion or we can have maybe 36 so we can see the one more animation okay now in the graph editor if you pull this key frame that means this animation has been stretched little bit so you can see is going to be little slow motion but the last part is going to be very quick and very fast okay if you want very much slow motion then we have to like stretch it a bit more simultaneously we can move this last animation little bit forward also now this ease in ease out is not required into the time wrap everything should be in the linear okay that way it will give the nice effect now if i play yeah now it's nicely converted but the animation is short here it's not completing because we have stretched the graph till to 120 but our timeline is not there so we have to extend our timeline also let's change the end frame so i am just adding the 200 and
this last keyframe you can just extend till to the 200 so now what will happen the whole animation is going to be little slow so we should not change this animation uh, these two keyframe we can just pull it you can just move this keys um, how much you can just move this key how long the animation you need you can see it's going to be very slow in between and last part is going to be normal so now we have the animation till 160 so basically we slow down the center part of the animation so we have to extend the timeline then only our whole animation is going to be visible so now i am just going to keep only 180 based on whatever your animation frame length and how you want to do that way you can just change it okay now you can just play and see the middle part of the animation is become slow same way you can do the opposite if you want to do the past like this part of the animation or the last part of the animation you want to do the past so we can just move this keyframe little closer okay so now you can check what is going to happen it's going to be very quick yeah same at the beginning also you we can change this come very fast slow yep, in the past so this is how you can control the whole motion of the animation after creating the animation after completing you can create the slow motion and the speed of your animation by using the time wrap when you open the scene one more thing <clears throat> when you open the scene and if you don't see the time wrap inside here see graph we don't have time wrap now so you can just go here time wrap and select the scene time wrap so when you select it then only you can see the graph here if you don't require the time wrap you can just delete the time wrap from here or enable disable you can just disable it so the whole animation is going to be very normal yeah or if you don't require the time wave, you can just delete by pressing the delete. Okay, so this is how you can use the time wrap into the Maya. And you can see the my any final animation, how it's looking. Hope you guys understood the time wrap very well. If you have any doubt, you can just Put the comment into the comment box and let me know. Thanks a lot. Happy animating. If you like my tutorial, you can subscribe and share. Thanks a lot.